The Atom Tablet's 20-hour battery life, Foursquare made it to space and helpful robots. I'm Pilpina, guest hosting for Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Geek TV. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by GoTo Meeting. Online meetings made easy. Callie's taking a much deserved vacation and will be back with us next week. Don't worry, Callie. I'll try not to break anything. What is this for again? Where's oh, it go? God help me. When I buy a new gadget, battery life is one of the major decision points. So imagine a tablet with 15 hours of battery life, maybe even 20. That's what Notion Inc. expects from the Atom tablet. It's not out yet, but they're saying that's what tests are showing. It's a cool idea of a tablet. It has a pixel Qi screen that's fingerprint resistant, has a touchpad on the back, a camera that swivels from the front to the back and everywhere in between, and along with the news of a really long battery life, could be good. Now the question is, will it have the sexiness of something like an iPad in terms of what it can do, and by that I mean apps, or will you only want to use it for basic things like browsing the web and email? Well, it seems like that's the question of any at all tablets these days. Regardless, it'll be interesting to see this come to the market. Foursquare has made it into space of all places. The achievement was earned by astronaut Doug Wheelog. Not only did he check in, he also earned the NASA Explorer badge. And after all, getting to someplace that difficult should earn you a badge, if nothing else. But you don't have to be an astronaut and go 220 miles into space to get the badge. In a few weeks, when Wheelog has returned, Anyone can work towards the NASA Explorer badge by visiting locations like the Kennedy Center, the U.S. Space Camp, and the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. What do you say? Time for a road trip? Well, Netflix has been doing some thinking. They realize a lot of people have the minimum account, which is $8.99 for unlimited streaming and one DVD out at a time, but not all of them use the DVD. Sometimes people sit on their one DVD for months without returning it. I'm sure that's not good for Netflix inventory and users aren't getting a lot of out of it either. So Netflix is doing some A-B testing it seems, where they offer some users a $7.99 monthly plan with only streaming and other users an $8.99 monthly plan with DVD and see what works. As you probably know, you can get every choice on streaming, so I personally prefer the $8.99 model to get a DVD every once in a while. I do need my movie fix. How much time do you spend traveling to meetings and sitting in a room waiting for a meeting to be over? GoToMeeting helps you lessen that amount of time by letting you conduct meetings online, host sales presentations, do training, even show off a new product or service right over the web and from your desk, saving you time and money. It's just $49 a month for all the meetings you want and you can try it free for 30 days. But you must visit GoToMeeting.com slash geek. Free for 30 days, go to meeting.com slash geek. Robots are talked about often here on the show. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're useful, and sometimes they're just plain outrageous. But today's robots are meant to help people get better. Geekbeat blogger Brody Beta wrote an article showing off these therapy robots. Meet Pero, a robot that can substitute animal therapy in situations where real life animals can't be used. So Paro is a, ther a therapy, a therapeutic robot that we use in um, nursing home, assisted living, and hospitals. So, so we use that for special needs children like Down syndrome or autism children. And a lot of individuals also use Paro as a substitute of pet at home. Um, and Paro is the next generation of therapeutic robot. It's been around for over five years. And we've been using the we have been using this for uh, Paro the next generation in Europe and in Japan for over five years. Um, Paro has sensor all over the body. There's a, uh, there are several tactile sensors. Uh, one in the head, and one on the whisker here. It doesn't like people touch this. Wow. And the chin here, um, and flippers, and also uh, wow. on the back. So Paro likes people to pet him on the back. Very cool. Now take a look at Keepon, a robot designed to help therapists engage children with developmental problems. Keepon may look like a cute toy, but its true purpose is to transform lives. What is it really for? 
He was designed for interaction with kids with social developmental disorders such as autism. Okay. One of the problems they have is a uh, sort of information overload mm -hmm. when they interact with real people. Children experiencing developmental problems often have trouble maintaining eye contact, a hard wall to break through. You can touch it. So Keep On seeks out eye contact using facial recognition software and a simple appearance so children won't find it threatening. Keep On uses its gaze to direct kids' attention, expressing supportive emotion by nodding or dancing. When therapists can't reach a child, Keep On breaks the ice. For more on Brody's bots, check out geekbeat.tv slash therapy robots. Well, that's all I have for you today. Kelly was on Twit with Leah Laporte on Sunday, all the way from Atlanta. Of course, you can find out about all her appearances and mine and everything happening at Live It Lobster on our newsletter. Just sign up for it at geekbeat.tv. Well, it was so much fun guest hosting today, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. See you next time. Bye. Very good. Okay, now grab your crap. <laughs> Read it like Callie. No, read it like Callie.